how to use Google Trends to find trending products and winning products to sell. Hi there, today we will be learning how to use Google Trends and what is Google Trends. We will also be learning about how this would benefit us, especially if we are planning to sell products, especially when you have your own e-commerce business or if you have an online shop. We will be learning about what are the trending or how to be able to find trending topics or trending products in order for us to sell these products effectively online. Here you can simply go to your web browser and search for trends.google.com and you will be routed into this page. Here you will be able to explore on what Google Trends is, you know what are the basics of Google Trends and how you will be able to analyze the information being provided by this platform. So here you will be able to see different resources that you can use for Google Trends. This actually is provided by Google as well, the same company. And as you can see, it actually offers a lot of, or it provides you a lot of information about what Google Trends is, how this was able to help um, different people, especially when they are trying to write contents, especially for journalists, they actually need to create um, topics or information or stories um, that are relatable and that are very timely to what are the trending um, informations or trending topics here um, using this platform or Google Trends. Here you'll be able to know as well on what you can see on the homepage. You can even explore your own topics and compare these topics to other group terms as well. This will also help you narrow down your ideas and the information that you may find um, in the middle of your researches. So here you can definitely check other information about other features here um, that are provided by Google, but today we'll focus on Google Trends. So here, what you can do is that, that this is currently the homepage that we're in. You can actually click on explore on the top part of the screen and here you can search for a topic. So for example, you can look for festivals here in the Philippines or depending on what location you're from or what location or country you are targeting. So it actually provides you here an option for worldwide or you can go to a specific country depending on where you want to market your product. And here you can also change on what type of or what time of data you want to um, gather. So for example, if it's an hour or within a month, years ago, five years ago, you can actually look into that here. You can also um, filter that into what type of category your search will belong. So for example, you can search about festival and then that would be under shopping. So this would provide you information or details about um, products that are currently being searched by the customers or you, the people about the products that they will be looking for when they are going to a festival. So here you can also look for a shop, for example, um, online shopping. It actually is one of the informations that are um, widely being used. And you can actually see there is a map as well and a graph on which, what time or what day or what time of the Google Trends, you can see that the topic is at peak and what time the topic was um, not very popular. So here, when you look into and drag or point the mouse into the points, you'll be able to see what date or month this um, peak happened and what month it was not helpful as well. So you can actually look into a shop and you can definitely compare it to topics as well. For example, you have um, two topics like um, beach or um, swimwear and you have another topic for um, other activities um, depending on what you want to compare, whether 
um, that would be a good product for you to sell into your business. So here you can see that um, below the graph, you'll be able to see other related topics to the category that you've looked or searched into the explore tab. And on the other side are the related queries like what are the other searches that the other people will be searching for since the topic that we had was very broad like bikes it actually has other um, branches or other categories or types of bikes that people are searching for as well so once you've decided on whether the product that you are planning to sell is popular in the country that you're in you can actually go to aliexpress or depending on what famous um shop online shop that you have and then you can search for the product here and what you can do is that it actually has a category here on the left side panel of the screen where you can see different types of categories that are relating to bicycles so you can see here there is a um, cycling shoes you have the frame you have helmets and a lot more so you can actually um, filter as well the results that you will encounter here on AliExpress um, so that you will be able to decide clearly as well on what type of product relating to bikes you will sell. So here you can see that um, it is also a good idea to sell bike helmets since this actually is part of the safety as a biker. You can actually see there's varied styles and varied details as well. And you can see on, or you can research or do a quick research on what is the best um, bike helmet that you will be, or what are the best brands. You can actually use Google Trends for that as well. So you can look into bike helmets and as you can see, um, here are the places that are marked blue in the map are the places that uh, most of the people are searching for these topics. So you can definitely look into that here that most of the time there are a lot of people searching for this um, specific product that we are searching. So for example, for the past 30 days, the searches actually did not go below 50% or 50 searches there may be um, times that it may be at its lowest searches but it does not go up to the zero searches so it's actually very um, beneficial that you need to look into these graphs graphs as well since you this will definitely help you um, decide whether that product would be helping you throughout the year um, so that you have a consistent sales with your product that you're planning to sell. And that's basically it. That's how you'll be able to use Google Trends to find and sell winning products. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.